to the On Deck Podcast presented by Line Star, your top MLB player prop bets plus home run calls of the day. Alongside Tyler Weeman, I'm Shannon Somerville. Let's get it rolling here. Yesterday was a great day for us here on the show. Not only did we go 2 0 on our prop bet picks, but we also nailed both of our home run calls as well. So today I'm putting on the money shades. I got the money gun out, Tyler. Are you ready for our money gun celebration? Let's get it popping. <laughs> profitable day for us yesterday on the show hope you guys tailed us if not make sure to do so you can find those picks underdog fantasy sleeper chalkboard parlay play if you don't have those apps download them use the promo code line for up to 100 dollars of your deposit mash make sure to take advantage of the promo deal plus make sure to comment below a comment enters you into the prop bets contest so we do also have to announce a winner from yesterday's contest and yesterday, a little bit more money for our winner today, $100, because we nailed both of our prop bets and our home run calls. So the winner of the contest for yesterday, happy to announce it is Sterling Baker 2992. Sterling Baker 2992. Congratulations. You have won yesterday. Sterling Baker uh, commented, I still have faith in you, girl, after I absolutely did terrible on picks. So that's what happens when you keep the faith here on the Line Star YouTube channel and stick with us on this show. Congratulations if you want to be a winner as well for today. All you got to do is like this video, subscribe to our channel, and comment below when you're in it to win it. Hopefully we'll go 2-0 again today, hit our home run calls as well. Now it is a bit of a smaller slate today. We're focusing on the night games, just two of those today. So you might want to maybe take a day off if you haven't already, you know, don't want to force things. I still kind of like the picks that I have for today though, Tyler. I don't know about you. What are you feeling like when you were looking at props today? Uh, I like my pick, but I'm definitely not as sure with it as I normally am. Uh, we wanted to, you know, make a show after doing so good. Yeah. So I like my pick. I am betting it, but I am definitely not as confident as Jen, as usual. Tomorrow we'll be back with a much bigger slate. And Tyler, I'm very excited to for tomorrow's show because you know what's happening tomorrow. Hmm. Yankees Padres. Let's oh, go. Oh yeah. So yep. excited the, for that. We'll uh, Yankees have to... start their three game losing streak. <laughs> my Yankees taking on Tyler's Padres. So we'll have to get some sort of wager something on the line in this series i'm gonna be at the game on friday so i'm very excited to see juan soto's return to petco park should be a good one but for Boo. today's <laughs> i got my gavel Who needs juan I'll Soto when you have jerks and do they al- do they allow gavels at, at petco park should i bring it nope. um nope. anyways it's going down here's my other prop of the set it's going down tomorrow night for sure so but let's get into today's slate tyler where are you headed in the prop game for today on this Thursday. I'm going to go with Mike Clevenger under 4.5 Ks. That's minus 115 in sports books. Consensus projections are 4.4. The thing here is that he has a 12.9% K rate over his last five starts. Baltimore, meanwhile, 20.3% K rate versus right-handed pitchers over the last 20 games. He has also only pitched 73 in 78 pitches over his last two starts with that super low K rate. With the low pitch count, he's going to have to be incredibly efficient to be able to get over four and a half. So I'm liking the under on this spot. Yeah, he's only made it past like four and a third. I mean, that's not saying much. And yeah. you know who got to him before was Aaron Judge had a home run off him the last start. So I highly and endorse that pick. The uh, the last two games, he has had five Ks and 4.2 innings. He's pitched decently in those two games. But I just don't think he can, you know, keep up this level of efficiency. I think four and a half is just too high for the numbers that we have. Yeah, especially against a pretty good hitting team for the Orioles who have the likes of Gunnar Henderson on their squad. And that's where I'm going with my prop bet today. I'm going Gunnar Henderson over one and a half bases. He has simply been on an absolute tear. Line Star's projection for him is two bases. The consensus also over two as well. And in fact, he's hit the over on this for the last six games. 
This is a lefty bat with a 955 slugging over the last seven days. That includes four home runs in that span. He's been on a tear, 894 OPS versus righties. He's a top 5% hitter against them and going up against Clevenger, who's giving up about a 767 OPS, slightly above average to lefty bats. And Henderson, like I mentioned, he's on a hot streak right now. Top 5% exit velocity and barreled balls over the last 14 days. So I got to ride the hot bat here with Gunnar Henderson. And a nice little uh, correlation there between the both of our picks. So I like our ticket for today. Rolling with Mike Clevenger under 4.5 Ks. Gunnar Henderson over 1.5 bases. Two others I was sort of considering was you could also go Ryan Mountcastle. Now, he's been very cold at the dish lately. However, you could go over one and a half hits, runs, and RBIs. The only thing that concerned me there was the fact that he has been very cold lately. But he's been over this 51% of the time this season. And again, Mike Clevenger, 239th versus righty bats. Also, the White Sox bullpen is terrible against righties. They rank 29th against them. So Mountcastle could be in a, in a good spot. And another one that jumped out to me a bit was Kerry Carpenter over one and a half hits, runs, and RBIs. This is the other game for tonight. Line Stars projection is 2.1. He's been over six of the last 10. The Toronto bullpen is really what I'm going for here. I'm hoping that he gets past Kevin Gosman, although he is two of six against him with a home run. But that Toronto bullpen, 30th versus lefty bat. And Carpenter's top 5% barreled balls the last two weeks. So he's been hitting the ball, making good contact in that span. So I don't mind Kerry Carpenter over one and a half hits, runs an RBI as well. But for my main pick, again, we're going Clevenger under four and a half Ks and Gunnar Henderson over one and a half bases. I mean, I just, when I looked at those three, I was like, got to go with the hottest bat right now. That's Gunnar Henderson. He's on fire, Tyler. What do you think? He sure is. <laughs> All right. So those are our picks for today. Available. Underdog Fantasy, Sleeper, Chalkboard, Parlay Play, all of those links. Remember to use that promo code LINESTAR so you can get the deposit match for you there. Now it's time for Home Run Calls of the Day. Yesterday, great day for the Line Star team in the Home Run Department. Going three for three on all of our picks across the board. Nice sweep there. Let's get the brooms out and run it back again today. Well, who you got for your Home Run Call today, Tyler? You know, was that was also the second time in two weeks that we've gone three for three with home run calls. So Let's things go. are going the right way. Uh, all right. So for my home run call today, I'm going a little different. We're going with Wenzel Perez, who hits third a lot for uh, the Tigers here. He is at plus 800. Reason I'm going with him, Vine Star has him at a 16.3%. A chance for a home run. Meanwhile, sports books are only at 13%. So there's some nice value there with the odds at plus 800. And he has a 220 ISO versus right handed pitching over the last 20 games. Meanwhile, Gosman allowing a 160 ISO. But the big story here is the Toronto bullpen is just not very good. And they've allowed 27 mm -hmm. home runs, ranked 29th in the league. So let's try and pick on that bullpen. Let's get some plus 800. And let's get a Perez bomb. And if you're interested in a prop bet for that as well, one and a half hits, runs, and RBIs is available on Underdog Fantasy Sleeper Chalkboard. So that could be an interesting play there as well mm -hmm. if you're not quite willing to uh, go for the home run call there. For my best home run call of the day, we're going with Jordan Westbrook of the Baltimore Orioles, plus 470. Line Stars projection for a home run, 14.1%. He's got seven home runs on the year, and I feel like he's really kind of made a spot for himself on this Baltimore Orioles team that's been kind of crowded with talent, but he has emerged as one of those talented bats, a righty with a 207 ISO against right-handed pitching this season. Remember, MLB average for ISO is around 140, so he's far above that. And going up against Clevenger today for the White Sox, who's giving up a 159 home run per nine. Right, We do have a bit of a smaller sample size with that, just two home runs given up and three starts. But he hasn't lasted past four and two-thirds, so you're looking at the White Sox bullpen that ranks 29th first right-handed bats. He's also batting fourth. I just like that he's got some pop, and I was looking for a righty bat here, so I like the plus 470 for Westberg here. What do you think? Yeah, I mean, on this uh, two-game night slate, the clear, you know, thought is Baltimore bats picking on Clevenger. Mm -hmm. So I, any I Baltimore bat 
looks like it's in you know the best situation and i don't think it's a bad idea to bet the baltimore bats and then in dfs fade them a little bit because they're going to be super i owned you're hedging yourself a little bit there there you go tyler with some dfs advice for you remember if you haven't already to like this video subscribe to the channel and comment below because it enters you into our prop bets contest as we gave out some money today here on the show. Hopefully we can do it again tomorrow and tomorrow we'll have to come up with a nice wager for Tyler and myself as his Padres hosting my Yankees who are coming to town. I'll be there. So we got to let us know put some skin if in the you game have for ideas for the wager. Yeah. What should we do? Uh, I think last mm-hmm. year what we did for the Padre series was, which of course the Yankees won. Um, I made Tyler have like Yankees face paint. It was pretty great. So hope maybe we run that back. I don't know. What do you What are you thinking? Any initial thoughts? I uh, I got no initial thoughts. I haven't thought about it at all. I just know that you're about to have a three game losing streak. So. <laughs> Here we go. Well, put your thinking cap on. Let's think of a wager. Drop them in the comments. Good luck in everyone in your prop betting endeavors for today. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a good one. Have a good one, guys. Good luck.